Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Long time no see, but I'm back with another video. First off, I want to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I am so shook. I haven't posted a video since like March, April-ish, and my channel has grown so much. Today we're going to be talking about why your business account isn't growing on TikTok. I'm also going to tell you guys why I don't have a business account on TikTok anymore. Yeah. There's multiple reasons why your business account may not be growing on TikTok. But there's one huge reason that I noticed a very long time ago when I got on TikTok back in like 2019, 2020. TikTok is not so much the same as like Instagram and Pinterest. And I'm gonna lay it out for y'all real quick. Instagram is like a search engine, right? Instagram used to be a place kind of like TikTok where you'd go on there to be entertained. You'd go on there to see pretty pictures. Um, but now Instagram is kind of shifting over into a search engine. Um, I kind of want to teach you guys also how to do like an Instagram audit because this also plays a huge role in this. A part of an Instagram audit is making sure that you have keywords in your bio. Like let's take like my page for instance. Like in the name portion of my bio, instead of saying Amari Sienna Beauty, it says, I believe like luxury vegan skincare, right? Because people are searching for things on Instagram now. And that section of your bio is searchable. TikTok, nobody gets on TikTok searching for things. Do you ever go on TikTok and you search for things? Like you literally go on there and you go to the the like little magnifying glass explore page and you go search for things. That's what I thought. Nobody searches for things on TikTok. It's just not a search engine. It's more of a space for people to one, go to unwind or escape from the outside world and two just to like find shit to laugh about and that's what's really important tiktok is really huge for all content pillars like entertaining engagement um education inspiration all that good stuff however you have to keep in mind people are not going on tiktok and searching for your small business and this is why your business is not blowing up on tiktok i see a lot of small businesses use the hashtag small business tiktok small business tips, um, the black owned small business. And that works for a place where people are searching for those things. People go on Instagram, people go on Pinterest, people go on Google, and they're searching for black owned small businesses to support. That's great. Nobody's going on TikTok searching for things, y'all. People are going on TikTok and they randomly stumble upon things, which means you have to get your video on their FYP, on their For You page. Now, the way that TikTok does this is they will show you things that they think you want to see. But in order to determine this, they go based off of two things, what you engage with and what you post. If you're only posting small business content and using small business hashtags, they're just gonna show your post to other people who are using those hashtags, which is most likely other business owners. So they're, you have your video only being shown to other business owners and their videos are only being shown to you. So your ideal client is not another business owner because they're trying to make money. They're trying to make sales. They're not trying to go support another lip gloss business. And that's not to say that businesses don't support businesses because they do, but that's not the whole point. The point is to get other customers other than just supportive small businesses. So if you're only using hashtags focused around small businesses on TikTok, TikTok's going to be like, the algorithm's going to be like, oh, okay, so she likes small businesses. So I'm going to only show them small businesses. And then it seems like their content is only small business stuff. So I'm going to just show it to other people that use small business hashtags as well. This is where you mess up because then you're videos end up in front of the wrong audience you want your videos to end up in front of the proper audience and this is where knowing your audience really comes into play the first thing that you want to do to fix this is see if you can salvage your account the weird thing about tiktok is that a lot of times once your account is stuck in a place in the algorithm it either will take a very long time to get it out of it like a very like weeks months for you to retrain the algorithm to see your account in a different way um so you want to see if your tiktok account is salvageable you want to see if you can save it if not you're gonna have to make a note a new one and i know that probably doesn't sound like the ideal thing to do but trust me i've done it so many times i've had like five tiktok accounts at this point and when i tell you i restarted a tiktok account and it actually started doing better than the other tiktok account that i had within like 24 hours 
So it's definitely worth it. Definitely consider it. Yeah, you want to see if you can save your account. You want to see if you can retrain your account. And if not, you're going to have to make a completely new account. And that's okay. Don't worry. Um, the way that you can grow on TikTok happens so quickly that it doesn't even matter if you start a new account because you could literally blow up in 24 hours. Like, it's fine. Second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to research your ideal audience. So like for me, let's take Amari Sienna for example. When... I think of my ideal audience. There are people who have acne. They are people who struggle with oily skin. They are people who struggle with dry skin. They are people who have morning routines. You know, just random things that you can just throw out. Then you want to create this ideal audience. So you can even write this on paper, like literally draw a person then draw all the qualities around them that would attract them to your business. That is your ideal client. What you're going to want to do from there is base your hashtags around that. So I started using hashtags like um, morning skincare routine or dry skincare solutions or oily skincare routine. You want to use hashtags based around what your client is probably interacting with on their TikTok. So on their For You page, if they're really into skincare, they're probably like liking and saving and downloading videos about skincare. Therefore, if you're using hashtags about skincare, the FYP is gonna be like, oh, this person likes stuff about skincare and this person posts stuff about skincare so let me put their post on their feed does that make sense so you have to make sure that you're connecting with the proper people if you're only using small business hashtags only other people who interact with small business stuff and use small business hashtags are going to see your stuff and that's defeating the whole point you need to make sure that you know your ideal client and that you're able to get in front of their page so that they can see your content and see your products because if TikTok knows that they like these things, if TikTok knows that they are a vegan who likes skincare products that are cruelty free and you're using hashtags that display this, that you're vegan, that you're cruelty free and that you make skincare products, they're gonna match you up. TikTok is not trying to play you all the time. They're, they're trying to help you, but you have to know how to work the algorithm. So just remember that TikTok is not a search engine. It is a great place to get discovered, but you have to do it correctly. Um, and you have to know their algorithm and that's how their algorithm works. It works very different from Pinterest, Instagram, and Google and Facebook. Like it, you literally, you have to know how to work the TikTok algorithm because it is so drastically different than anything else that we've really ever had in social media before, if that makes sense. Which brings me to my point of why I don't have um, a TikTok account for my business anymore. I just kind of found that I wanted to do more research on it and I kind of want to start a YouTube video series on like my results and my discoveries um, because I feel like a lot of small businesses saw other people capitalize off of TikTok, which is great, but then they started doing it wrong. And I feel like there's so much more that we can learn about TikTok, like how we all took years to learn about Instagram. There's so much more that we can learn about TikTok. Um, so I deleted my business page. <laughs> I don't use it anymore. I took it down completely because I was making these same mistakes. And I really want to get to a point where I have researched the algorithm enough to the point where I can post my first video and blow up. Um, and I know part of that is chance and the universe doing what it does. But another big part of that is you knowing what you're doing. You knowing the system. You knowing how to manipulate it to work in your favor and you knowing how to take the actions that you need to take for it to work for you. I just wanted to make a quick video about that because I've been seeing so many of y'all post y'all TikToks with these small business hashtags as if that's going to get you in front of the people that need to see your stuff. And sometimes it does. Sometimes you'll get enough interaction on a video and then TikTok will push it to a bunch of people and it'll go viral. That's amazing. However, it can be done so much faster and so much easier if you just if you know where to start if you don't have to figure it out as you go if you know where to start and that's what this video is for it's to give you a chance to know where to start so that you're not posting for weeks and weeks and weeks and not seeing any results so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was very helpful i have to go post an instagram post uh Planally just told me that I have one that's scheduled for right now so I'm gonna go thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe down below I drop all the small business tips tricks and tea um I have a lot of videos about like vendors um and business tips and tricks social media tips and tricks 
So yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, something that you feel like you need a little bit of help with, with your small business, go ahead and drop that down in the comment below. Leave any video suggestions that you have. I am so open to making any videos that you feel like you need, if that makes sense. I've been doing this for a couple years now. I really just want to help people get to the bag. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all later.